Hello, Kazgem here, and today we are taking a quick look at the Network Skins 2 mod. That's right, this is a really powerful, really fun mod that I really wanted to go ahead and show everyone. So, first of all, you obviously know how to lay out your first few roads in the game. So you lay out a road like this, maybe a road over here, and then get a couple of smaller roads like this. And perhaps you want to have one with trees a little further down. So we'll go ahead and place some trees over here. There we go. Let's go ahead and revert that back to normal. And you will see that this is actually not normal. There you go. Check that out. So I actually changed the size of that tree. So let's dive into how exactly I did that. And we're just going to snap everything back to normal for this. So... The way that Network Skins 2 works is it effectively repaints and reskins your existing road network. And the way that you want to use it is by, first of all, enabling it, and then second of all, you want to go on over here, and you want to take a look at your different options. There are several different buttons, and top bottom, you've got Surface, which is just, you know, you can create pavement, gravel dirt, and this is just how you create different uh, surfaces. This is great for if you want to create kind of a more gravelly feel in a spot. So if I want to go ahead and do this, you go, it's got a little bit closer to a gravel texture on the outside there. Or you can decide, you know what, I just want it to be straight up dirt. And that's great for like if you want to do a rural area, something like that. There are several surface options in various different uh, types of road segments, and it'd be impossible for me to sit here and list all of them for you. Next up, we have, we'll skip to option number three, which is street lamps. And street lamps, this is exactly what it sounds like. All you gotta do is flip through and figure out which one you want to use. So let's actually use old, let's just use the old French lamp double. There we go. Check that out. I changed the street lights on my city. And you'll note that there's still the normal ones over here. This is a great way to make like a themed area. This is a great way to sit there and create some, you know, variance between two different areas of your city. Or as many areas as you possibly want. So you can say, I want a quadruple. Because why not? There are just so many different options you can do with this. And it's really hard to say what's the right thing to do or not. Also, you can, if I draw a little bit more, you can say, I want this to be a further distance. And what that's going to control is what the frequency is between your lights. So now I've reduced the frequency by a lot. And now, check that out. Or I've reduced the distance a lot and check that out. Now you've got a lot more street lamps. It's going to be a very bright thing. And you'll actually note that at night, these actually go through just fine. So if I flip to more nighttime, check it out. They all sit there and produce light, so it's not fake light. These are very real objects. And again, this works with any vanilla or uh, any vanilla or workshop content. So now, moving on, we'll take a look at pillars. Now, this is one that obviously will only affect you if you are up above the ground. Let's go ahead and take a look at our standard pillars. Okay. So let's say that's not quite what you want. Let's go ahead and select the monorail pylon. Just because we're like, you know what, we want a sleeker, more modern look. Hey, check that out. We've got a different pillar design now. And you can sit there and do that with a lot of different pillar designs. And you can make it as crazy or as tame or just about anything that you want. And it really is only limited by your imagination, what you want to do here. And there are so many different things to do. But again, I'll leave it to you to discover what all the fun options are in vanilla and in the workshop for that. Up next, we have the return to return to default. So basically, this is ba this is just return everything to normal, so that whenever you select something again, it'll just be normal. And that also works for drawing out a new road. Everything's back to default, but the stuff that's already laid down will keep its previous settings. Down here, you have your standard settings, and then this is save active section, selections globally. This basically does it per save or not, and I have things I like using between saves, so I actually prefer to leave that checked. Then hide blacklisted items, 
that is an advanced option that you can use basically just to hide some certain things. And then auto scroll to selected. That is just a way so that if you have something selected that's further down, like let's say I have that wooden pillar selected. There we go. And then we click away and click back. It'll automatically go to where you can see what you're using. I recommend leaving that option enabled. And now the probably most famous part I'd say of this tool or one of them is the coloring. So let's go ahead and force to ground here. Again, using network tools for that. Now, what we're going to do is, as we draw a road, you can sit there and change the color. So now I wanna go ahead and do a red. Cool. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do an orange. Neat. And let's go ahead and do a yellow. And you can see what I'm doing here. You can sit there and create an actual rainbow road. I did this several cities back on stream and we created an awesome rainbow road that went right through the heart of our city. And it was such a fun thing to work on. It really was. But check that out. You make a legit rainbow road in city skylines with next to no effort. That is so cool. And the other cool thing is if you look here at the top, you'll note that you can save a bunch of different colors. And it's a very gradient color set. So you can sit here and go as dark as you want within a color set. There we go. Or you can go as light as you want to in a color set. It really just is up to you. And something else you'll notice is that they do try and respect intersections as the breakoff points. And that is something that can be very useful or a detriment. You're going to have to learn how to manipulate the nodes just right in order to make sure that you don't end up doing something that you're going to regret. So, the next stage, you'll note that I laid out some avenues specifically with trees over here. And that's on purpose because if we go back to our avenues, we can actually alter the trees. That's right, you can sit there and decide, you know what, I want to have this palm, this robusta palm tall in the middle. Check that out. That is a weird tree. But you can get that in there if you want, or you can spread out the distance. You can get all sorts of flavor happening in your city. This is the way to get everything to look just right in your city. And I would totally recommend you check out Network Skins too. But without further ado, I am going to uh, leave you here. And remember, if you enjoyed the content, be sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe for more City Skylines content, and of course, come check out the stream at twitch.tv slash kazgem. Also, feel free to join our amazing Discord community. And until next time... This is Kaz Jim, signing out. See ya!